about this drive-by hacking. The new site Drudge linking to a malware-infected web story from something called the Washington Free Beacon. Now, that story, which was about the NSA leak scandal, compromising unknowing readers with a form of malware undetectable by antivirus software. And we're joined from Washington by Steve Ward, who's a vice president at Invincia, the cybersecurity firm that, uh, well, outed this infection that, got, that found it, got to the bottom of it. So, Steve, thank you for coming on. First of all, yeah, sure. why does this uh, look like the Chinese? Actually, in this particular case, we're not convinced that it is China. Okay. It, it looks more to be... Uh, driven by organized cybercrime, um, and most likely um, uh, culprit would be uh, a Russian business network, uh, as we refer to them, or um, cyber criminals outside of you know former Soviet caucuses. Uh, but the tactic itself uh, has been employed in nation-state type type attacks. Um, in, in those instances, we call them watering hole attacks, as opposed to drive-by downloads, right. because they're a bit more targeted. In the case of this uh, particular attack, uh, hitting the Drudge site. Um, or using a link off of Drudge appears to be aimed at you know, the, the two million or more uh, potential visitors that Drudge gets on a daily basis. That's the thing, I mean, regardless whether it's um, you say organized cyber crime or somebody else. Hidden Drudge or any of these, as they're called, news aggregations, the aggregators of news that many of us use to get our news. We don't necessarily go directly to the source. We go, whether it's Drudge or, you know, it's the Daily Beast, on and on, these places that link to other stories. Is that suddenly not safe? I mean, and the, so many people get their news that way. Well, I mean, I think what this shows us is that the Internet isn't safe. Um, and, and that's an unfortunate situation, and it's one that we have to, to really tackle. Um, and one that I think, you know, with the work that you guys are doing in terms of exposing the cyber threat, uh, mainstream America and the boardroom is really starting to wake up to. But uh, what it boils down to is this. Uh, anytime any of us go out to the Internet, um, we're woefully unprotected. Um, we rely on these technologies like antivirus uh, to protect us against these, these drive-by threats, against these uh, malicious software uh, attacks that, that hit us un unknowingly. Uh, but those technologies are antiquated. Um, they're largely uh, built uh, around uh, attacks that we saw 10, 15 years ago. Right. And what we need to do is find ways to sort of put ourselves in Kevlar, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, encapsulated environments or bubbles um, so that anytime we run around on the Internet, uh, we're doing so um, in, a, uh, in a sort of malware airlock. Uh, we've, we've got to find new ways wow. to, to solve these problems. Yeah, because when we look at our email, we've become trained to look for certain things. I mean, some are just ridiculously obvious, like the old mm -hmm. the crown prince in Nigeria, and uh, he doesn't have the money for you. We know that. Um, some are hidden better now. Obviously, these criminals have gotten better at it. But still, in mm -hmm. your email, it, it seems like it's easier to detect, knock on wood. In this situation, though, it's you know very easy to open up Drudge or again the Daily Beast or one of these sites in the morning, and you're reading through the news and you see something that's interesting, and boom, you click on it without thinking. Is there something yeah. we should look for in those types of stories? Uh, different yeah. sources. I mean, what do we look for? How do we know, or do we know? You know, there, there really is no way to know, hmm. um, and, and that's the whole point of yeah. the attack vector. Um, the adversary is playing into human trust, right? Um, Drudge, a, a very trusted source of news. Uh, the, the Washington Free Beacon, a legitimate news source, um, injecting malicious code into a legitimate website uh, and, and lurking and, and waiting and hiding um, uh, for people to come by is basically the, the new MO of the adversary. And so really, again, it's about us coming to grips with the fact that we innovated our, our way into this mess and we've got to innovate our way out. We've got to find new controls uh, that protect us anytime we're, we're out there browsing around on the internet or to your point from the email side of things, right. opening up document attachments that, that may also be malicious or, or weaponized. Ironic, I guess, in some ways that this had something to do with the NSA story, obviously mm -hmm. different, but uh, is the government, uh, for all the talk we've had this week about what the government should or should not be doing in terms of snooping and, and all that kind of thing, um, where are we on this kind of, I guess, good snooping, uh, helping us out as the government is and being on top of this. Are they or should they be or where are we? What, uh, what report well, card would you give? Right. I, I wish I could answer that in the affirmative. I, I wish I could say that, you know, for all the talk this week about, you know, the capabilities from an offensive perspective yeah. or from a collection gathering perspective that defensively uh, we're in really great shape. But, you know, one need only look at the news over the course of the last two and a half, three years. And, and you know, if you look at it in totality, what you'll see is, is it is an absolute nightmare. We are witnessing the theft of a nation. We are witnessing the systematic dismantling of America's competitive future through cyber theft. And, you know, no one, uh, you know, that I have seen has really done much more than give this lip service. We, we have got to wake up an, as a nation and understand that, you know, we are, are facing an existential threat. And it's not in, in the form of, uh, you know, dirty bombs and, you know, ICBMs. It's in the form of, you know, users clicking on links that they shouldn't click 
click on or opening attachments that, that, that have been weaponized and that, that are tricked into giving access to the corporate network uh, for you know billions of dollars worth of, worth of intellectual property theft. Important information, not exactly encouraging uh, by any means, but uh, maybe yeah. I guess the old sports analogy is uh, you know defense wins championships, and we've got to improve sure. our defense. Right, Steve Ward, thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely, appreciate it. Yep, thank you. Thank you very much. That was a.